Hello everybody, this is Laura Fad 1970 I'm coming to you from Melbourne Park. In fact, I'm standing right next to the Ruin H. Fleet Theater. I was just in there earlier for a presentation called uh, Super Powered Dog or, or Superhero Dogs. I recommend that you go see it. It's a pretty awesome film. I'm going to go on that building next. Good old Natural History Museum. Somebody's really artistic. Changing views, that's your fossil. I'll just go like that. That one. Let's put through these. This is supposed to be. Oh, I see. I'm on our way to the top. directions for the Ocean Oasis show. Hmm. And hopefully I'll be able to show some video, but I can't guarantee it. I don't even know if it's going to turn out. I'll have to wait. Yeah, it's starting yet. This is what they're showing right now. Saw. Here come down to San Diego. Come and see it. I got a bone to pick with this guy. That looks like a fun place to go. I met your cousin at the pier. <laughs> Showed me a great place to go. Back to. Hey, you're not talking. Huh? Cat got your tongue too, huh? gift shop. <laughs> nice view out here. Look at that. I'll leave, leave right there. And there's all the gems. Fishing for answers. 
Hate to be his dentist. Ooh. So this is cool stuff from storage. Ah. California black bear. Huh? That is awesome. Ooh. Give you an idea how big this is. Here is my arm. That's the wheel bone. Uh, Alina. So it's collected. It's Christine Gunn, Chris Connie Gunn, Glendale. <laughs> that has a lot of specimens. Interesting. Today, climates continue to warm and humid activities are speeding up the process. Most of Southern California's coniferous forests now exist only around our mountain peaks. If this trend continues, the forests will likely disappear completely. Southern California's climate is cooler and wetter. Forests extend all the way down to the mountainsides into the valleys. Hundred years ago, climates have naturally warmed. Southern California's forests have been eliminated at lower elevations. And this is what we've already seen. Now let's leave this. The other one oh. for you Spanish speakers. Hmm. Oh, let's see. me on my first visit here. I must have been 79. the only part of a shark's head hard enough to fossilize. The rest of a shark's skeleton made of cartilage is rarely preserved. Based on fossil teeth and studies of modern sharks, scientists and artists work together to reconstruct this giant extinct predator. The extinct shark's largest teeth are triangular with serrated edges, like those of modern great whites. Some scientists believe the two sharks are closely related and had a similar body shape. I've heard they also have to keep swimming. They don't have a swim bladder. <laughs> oh god. Look at that. Ah, I guess that is what this looks like on the inside. <laughs> wow. That's right. They found some whale bones near El Camino High School where I used to go. Huh. Ah. 
Oh, there's... Well, I, I have to say it. This guy ain't lying. <laughs> or thing before I leave. This is called Coast Redwood. 654 years old. Wow. That's longevity. That's why I like going here. They call this Spanish Revival. Look at that. I used to go here more often <laughs> when I went on field trips. This has not changed at all. It's a place not too far away from here. My mom and dad had a picnic lunch. <laughs> Way before me or my brother and sister were born. Yeah, potato salad, uh, fried chicken, and liquid jello. Before they started adding alcohol and making it jello shots. <laughs> They weren't trying to, it was, a, it was so warm that day. I'll go in here next. Iron are closing. Oh well. Okay, one more place to go. Yep. This is a historic bridge leading into the park. There's some information for you to look at. Now behind me is a person that made all the vegetation right here in Bellboy Park possible. But Kate Sessions says, 1857, 1940, scientist, horticulturist, nursery woman, mother of Bellboy Park. During her life, Kate Sessions created gardens and landscapes for all to enjoy. 1892, she began transforming the surrounding area from scrub covered lands to what is now Bellboy Park. She introduced hundreds of our favorite plants and trees. Her vision continues to enrich our lives with beauty. Ruth Hayward, sculptor. Oh. Yeah, take a look at that. Mm. Here are the people who are still maintaining this park. Hm. Man. Yeah. Go on the adopt the plot program. Hmm. I didn't get a chance to see everything. Well, it was my fault. Uh, I should have taken a shortcut. I took the long way around, had to make my way back. Uh, I want to get a map that's actually got features on it that actually work. Well, that's all for now. Click like and subscribe. <laughs> the... yeah. That's all for now. Oh man, I hate when my brain does that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit that bell. It lets me know you want to see more videos like this. If there's anything, uh, any suggestions, uh, any areas of San Diego I might have missed, just let me know in the comments. And I will put links in the description, especially Balboa Park and other museums in the area. Go. I highly recommend it.